before meeting everybody up at the camp spot, I'm stopping here at the 99 cent only stores. Um, this was one of my favorite stores when I lived in Arizona. I don't know if you have them where you are or if you've ever been to one, but if you do, check it out. They've got um, produce, deli, frozen foods. Um, it's like a Dollar Tree with um, produce and you can get the best deals here like um, when they're in season you can get like a bag of plums for a dollar and like a three pound bag I mean it's crazy okay maybe not three pounds but a lot of stuff um, so oh and they do have um, two things only two things that are not a dollar and that is wine and a gallon of milk everything they else is a uh, dollar it used to be 99 cents but you know inflation apparently things have changed um, it is not any longer everything for a dollar let's see how much the uh, oh the peppers also $1.99 but that is still a great deal. Asparagus for $1.99. Can't beat that. Three English cucumbers for $1.99. That's a really good deal. fresh green beans you know you can get these solar lights at the Dollar Tree for a dollar so that's a little disappointing but look at these really cute little lanterns that you can put your well I thought you could put your candles in I guess not oh yeah there's an opening on the back I guess it was wishful thinking that they would remain a dollar forever. One of the things that I bought at the uh, 99 cent only store is a water bottle. Um, it was $1.99, but isn't it cute? Um, I don't, I think I've mentioned before that I have kidney disease and I'm supposed to drink at least a half gallon of water a day. We all are, but, um, you know, especially somebody with kidney disease and I'm stage three, uh, which means I'm halfway to needing, um, uh, dialysis, uh, but don't worry. My father has been at stage 3 kidney disease for years, so that could, you know, never happen. So, the problem is, is that I don't drink anywhere near what I should be drinking. Um, the doctors actually said 2 liters per day, at least 2 liters per day. I don't drink anywhere near even 1 liter per day. So, when I came down with the stomach flu, I was already dehydrated. I'm probably in a constant state of dehydration. So, uh, you know, when I was in the ER, they couldn't even get needles in my um, arms because my veins were so dry. But, um, so the guys have been on me lately to be drinking water. So I will start carrying around a water bottle at all times. Um, yeah, I don't ever want to feel like that again. Not only, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever been extremely dehydrated, but I literally felt like I was dying, and uh, which is why I had Mike take me to the hospital. Um, so, water, 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 water. Okay, I got it. Bye. Okay, so. We, I am 
arriving, I'm in Lake Havasu now and coming up on the airport and I'm not sure if you can see those military helicopters over there. I'll zoom in. And uh, so hopefully we will get some shows while we're here. Right now I'm meeting the rest of the uh, group Walmart before we head out to our camp. Well, Asha just came down the hill to Walmart to tell us that um, up at the top where we have been camped before is um, expecting 65 mile an hour wind gusts 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 and that there is no internet service up there so probably stay at the bottom of uh, Craigie Wash and um, until the wind dies down it's supposed to be bad for three or four days I guess but you know I always have things to do in my van so ain't no thing I will check my internet service and see if this is acceptable. Okay, so this is where this is where we parked when we first got here at the bottom. But Chuck and Ron are at the top. And Aja said it was really, really windy up there. And that there was no uh, internet service up there. So, I just talked to both Chuck and Ron, and they said where they're at, it's not bad as far as the wind, and they both have 4G service. So, I'm going to drive up there and check it out for myself. The only bad thing is this is a two-mile road, and it's pretty bad. It's not a good road. What are you doing? Did you miss Auntie? Huh? Sorry, Elizabeth. I know you're the only real Auntie. Hey, you guys. Long time no see. Long time no see. How are How are you? We're good. Is it wonderful here? It, it has nice. been pretty nice. Yes. Okay. It's a little breezy today. Okay. Next couple Sun's days. Out. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's breezy. Okay. The difference between the wind speeds up here and down there is a lot. So, I'm going back to the bottom where we're not getting blown away. Wanted to show you my afternoon keto snack. It's just celery with whipped cream cheese and some... Greek seasoning and that is zero carbs in that so plenty of fat zero carbs and yum and this may end up being my dinner because I doubt if I'll be hungry later well we gave up trying to sit outside it is too windy and cold so it's I think about four o'clock I'm probably in for the day because nobody likes it out there probably see you tomorrow. Bye.